Between 1858 and 1889, when he died, a man clothed exclusively in leather garments that he had made himself walked a 365-mile loop in western Connecticut and eastern New York. This loop took him 34 days to walk, and it's estimated that he made as many as 365 circuits, more than 100,000 miles in the 31 years that he made his circuit. His name is believed to have been Jules Bourglet, a French immigrant but everybody simply knew him as the Leather Man. The Leather Man rarely spoke and slept in a series of caves along his route, which you can still see today. And his passage was so regular as he made his way through this area that people could practically set a clock to the time of his arrival. In spite of the eccentricities of his lifestyle, people along the Leather Man's route were very tolerant and even fond of him. Folks were so fond of him, in fact, that they actually passed city ordinances in several towns in Western Connecticut which gave him exemption from state vagrancy laws, which made it illegal for a person to be wandering around without any visual means of supporting themselves. Truly exceptional about the Leatherman story, to me at least, is the fact that he wasn't regarded as an object of scorn by society at the time. During this exact time, southern states were using vagrancy laws as a weapon to throw black folks into prison to fill up their convict lease programs. But in this moral panic about hobos wandering the countryside, other states passed these laws as well, without the racial component. Somehow the Leatherman was able to avoid these laws and to live his life out in the wild.